What's in the bag, Kev? I'm on the road again and I asked the local establishment if I could use their place to film this video and they most graciously allowed me to use their digs. This is actually supposed to be my second video, however the HXT Skinny Chef review took that spot. If you haven't seen that video, I'll place a link here as well as a link in the description below. Now I know I'm not a pro and you may be asking me, why do we care what's in your bag Kevin? I figured in order for my fellow addicts to get to know me better, why not show what's in my case? Bonus is, you get to see what my upcoming reviews will be about. So, let's get started. Hey, let's bring you a little closer. Okay, that's better. So, this is my gear. Now, I'll start off with talking about my case. It's a JB 2x5, 3x4 case. What that means is 2 butts, 5 shafts, 3 butts, 4 shafts. It, it's interchangeable. It's uh, made of a nylon material and I believe the, the, the shell is a PVC type material. Three pockets to hold all my gear. Top pockets for my chalk. I'll give you a little bit of look at the interior. JB Signature interior. Really nice case. Next up is my chalk. I use Magic Chalk. The reason why I like Magic Chalk is the price to cost ratio uh, is really nice. I like that. And I also have it with a cheap magnetic uh, chalk holder, keeps it on my person whenever I'm not using it. I have here quarter holder and a pin for keeping score during league. One thing I like about this pin, has a light. Uh, comes in handy in the dark places whenever you're keeping score and uh, you don't have very good lighting. Now I have here a glove, it's a Lingoni Blackfire glove. I don't normally use gloves, uh, I, I prefer not to, but there's some occasions where I need to use one. I will use one over, I, over using talc, mainly because in my experience, talc tends to dirty up the Q shaft a lot and you end up having to clean them a lot more often. So instead of talc, I'll use a glove. All right, I have here my tip shapers. I have a, I have, both of these are Willard's tip shapers. One's a dime shape and one's a nickel shape. I use the nickel shape for my break cue, the dime shape for my, my playing cue. These are the primary ones I use to keep my tips nice and tip top shape. I also have an APT uh, ultimate, cue, the ultimate cue tool. I primarily use this one for whenever my tips are mushrooming. Uh, it does have a scuffer and just like the, uh, the Willard's does, however, I use the Willards for that, and I use this just primarily for mushrooming um, with the tips. Whenever I'm not holding my cue or not playing, and I have my cues out, I use this cue claw with three slots uh, to place my cues so they don't fall over. This one's really nice because it's got a good weight to it, so it doesn't slide around on whatever table you put it on. It does the job just fine. I have here, a cue extension. Now, I don't use a cue extension that often because I don't have a problem using a bridge. I'm not a big fan of this one, but I keep it just in case I need it. And the last of the accessories is an old, nice, soft t-shirt. I use this to clean my uh, cues whenever I'm done using them to prevent having to uh, clean them more often with cleaning products. Now for the weapons of choice. My brake cue is a Mez Kai. I have it paired with a Pro H shaft 
with a town tip. This is a monster breaker. Uh, if you end up getting one of these, this, the tip that comes with the Mez shaft, it's pretty good, but a town tip, hands down, just phenomenal tip. Next up is my jump cue. This is a hand shoe jump cue. He, he makes really good jump cues. They're really high, highly sought after right now. Uh, this is my, my first jump cue. I'm still getting used to a dedicated jump cue. Uh, it does do a really good job, but it does take some getting used to. Now my main road player is right here. This is a Chris Nitty. Chris Nitty uh, four point Coca Bolo with bird's eye maple with a radial joint. I also have a uh, shark skin wrap on it. This cue, I've had this one for probably over 10 years now. It was my main player for a long time. Uh, since then I've upgraded into a new cue, which is also a Chris Nitty, but because it's more expensive, I tend to leave it at home and that way if anything happens when I'm out on the road, at least it's not the more expensive uh, cue. I have two shafts that I bring with me. This is a standard Nitty. Uh, I had it uh, 12, and a, uh, 12 and a quarter size tip and it has a Zan Premium soft tip on it. Nice, nice shaft. I don't use it unless, depending on the situation, um, I may change to it. So I always bring it with me just in case. Now, normally I bring my OB Pro shaft. However, it's, it was still in the shop at OB before I left. So I brought the HXT Skinny shaft that I did a review on with me as the replacement. And this one, has that Kamui soft tip on it. it. Does a really good job. I'm actually enjoying it a lot more since the review. It, it, it does play really good for the price. So that's what's in my bag. Like I said, I'll be doing reviews in, individually on in upcoming videos on all this equipment. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I really appreciate the feedback. Uh, and subscribe to the channel uh, so you can keep up to date on whenever the reviews come out. And I'll also be doing pool hall reviews since I'm out on the road again. Thank you for, for your patience with the content on this channel. When I'm out on the road with a full-time job, sometimes it's really difficult to come out and get the videos done and get them produced and put out on YouTube. So I really appreciate the patience. So thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.